I told him in the locker room that uh, Andrea Riley's freshman year, uh, we had kind of the same kind of makeup we have right now, a few JC kids, a lot of freshmen. And, and uh, we our first road game in the Big 12, I mean, we laid an egg just like today. I mean, it was just, uh, we got beat 30. And uh, I think what you tell the kids is it's early. You've lived through it now. You know what it's like to go play in front of 9,000 people. Uh, you know what it's like to go play a well-coached team, a team that's really prepared. Now, how do you respond from it? And, uh, you know, we don't have one player on this team that's ever been to K-State. Uh, so that kind of tells you the youth and the inexperience that we're bringing here on the road. So we knew, I knew it. I've been in this game too long. I knew it was coming at some point in time. I was hoping it didn't come today. but. Uh, but if anybody's got to be like that, I'm glad it's Deb. Deb's a good friend of mine. He does a great job. How much harder is it too when, when the you know team like K State comes out and they're just hitting everything long range like that too? Well, they did everything, didn't they? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it makes it. It just does really make it tough because we weren't playing the best defense in the world. But boy, just any mistake we made, they knocked it down and. and uh, you know, I think I think the young ones were down enough on themselves, and then you know you don't score at this end. Then you come down, play pretty good defense, and then they bang a long three on you, and now you go down, don't score again, and then it happens again. It does kind of just snowball, it really does. And I mean, I think that's just part of the learning process with this team and that, that we're going to have to go through. But give K State credit for hitting shots tonight. They, uh, you know, the kid off the bench. I guess we better learn how to pronounce her name because she she tore us up. What was your game plan going into the game? I mean, you guys obviously were bigger than, uh, bigger inside presence. Was that your game plan? Was just to kind of pound well, inside? Well, it really was, and I mean, I don't know how many five footers we missed, but we'll go back on tape and look at that. And I, I would guess fifteen five footers probably uh, that we normally hit, and uh, you know, I, I think I think we, we just shot them with a little more urgency and a little little scared or, or something tonight that they just didn't go in. So. Um, you know, we've got to play a little bit of an inside-out game and to, to be effective. That's how we've won to this point. Uh, and I thought, uh, you know, I'm not going to put it on, just like, like I told the team, I'm not going to put it on any one player. Uh, but, you know, when you've established numbers to this point, uh, your team depends on you to get those numbers. And I, I thought we had some starters not come through uh, like they have at this point. You had Precious come off the bench with a double-double. Can you talk about her play a little bit? The one positive thing. There you go. I appreciate you saying that. Cause I, you know, Precious, well, Precious has been through the grind, and she's had success. And, uh, you know, she hasn't started to this point, but I might have to rethink that because she played and she was not scared. I thought she was very aggressive at both ends and did a nice job. So, uh, you know, it, it's nice having someone like Precious come off the bench, but we might have to start her.